Well, many of you have sent in email questions, so we want to take some time to bring it on and address those questions right now. Gordon, this first one is from Erica, who says, I'm almost 18, and I have lived a life of struggle and negativity. I've hit rock bottom more times than I can count, and I haven't even begun life yet. I feel as if I'm cursed with negativity when all I want is true happiness and signs from the Lord to help me keep moving. What do I do? Well, Erica, my heart goes out to you, and, and I would first say you're not cursed. Yeah. You're not cursed. You're not cursed with negativity. Jesus became a curse so that you and I would no longer live under a curse. So get rid of that thought and, and just say, okay, I've got a problem, but you're not cursed because Jesus, what Jesus did for you. Now, you may have a disease, uh, the disease of clinical depression. Uh, and I can't diagnose that over a television program, and I'm frankly not qualified to diagnose it even if you're right here. But you may need to see a medical uh, expert in this field and take some tests and, and talk to them and see uh, if, if there's a medical problem here. If, if it's not medical and it's just spiritual, here's some things from, from the Word of God that I hope will encourage you. First is from Proverbs 12, and what's the cause of uh, this kind of depression? Well, it's anxiety in the heart causes depression, but a good word makes it glad. So look, what, what are the negative things going on in your life, and how is that producing anxiety? And I would encourage you, each episode of this, turn it over to him. Let him carry it. He bore it all on the cross so that you wouldn't have to carry it and cast all those cares, all those concerns, all that anxiety onto him. He doesn't want you to carry it. He's already paid the price for it. And then he's added to it. John 14, verse 16, I will pray the Father and he will give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. So turn to Jesus and ask him, can you show me that comforter? Can the Holy Spirit come to me now and comfort me now in the middle of my anxiety, in the middle of this episode I'm having? Can he transform my life? Realize God has a plan for you. You're just 18. He's got a future for you. He's got a hope for you. And all you have to do to turn to him and give him the ability to, and ask him, Lord, what's the plan for me? What's the future for me? Give me that hope.